remember the days when we all had to get checked for lice by the school nurse? Well, lice are making their way across the country as scientists are reporting that they have developed resistance to over-the-counter treatments. Now, these, resist these treatment-resistant lice are being called super lice. The Center for Disease and Control Prevention is estimating 6 million to 12 million infestations each year in the United States. So we're talking to Dr. Tanya Altman uh, here with the details on uh, what we can do. Good morning, Dr. Altman. Great to have you on the show this morning. Good morning, thank you. And I'm itching hearing you talk about <laughs> super lice. I was going to say the same thing. What are super lice? So super lice are lice that have become genetically resistant to the ingredient in common over-the-counter treatments. So they're not dangerous, they don't carry disease, they're just really super annoying, especially when your child brings it home from school and it easily spreads from person to person. So what kind of symptoms should we be looking out for? What are some signs of super lice? So often you'll see the kids scratching their scalp. You might actually see a louse in their hair. It's a little bug that looks kind of like a sesame seed with wings. You might see little eggs attached to the hair follicle near the scalp, or you might see a little rash behind the ear or behind the neck. And often that's one of the first signs. Parents will call my office and say, my child has this weird little rash for a few days on their neck, and I'll say, have you checked them for lice? How does, and I can imagine, especially when the kids are in school and, and the, the spread of it, how does it actually spread, though? So lice crawl. They don't fly or they don't jump, but kids are often in close contact with each other. So lice can crawl from head to head. If you share hats, if you share combs, they can also crawl from jacket to jacket. And I know at a lot of schools, they have the kids pile up their sweatshirts when they come in the classroom, and that's how lice easily spreads from child to child across the class. Okay, so obviously we want to know what is the best way to get rid of it. So the best way to get rid of super lice or regular lice is really to go to your local drugstore and there's a new product called Nix Ultra which is approved for killing super lice, regular lice and their eggs. It's non-toxic, it's pesticide free and it's really my favorite because it essentially creates a super slippery surface and coating over the lice and the hair so you can easily comb it out of your child's hair. And that's really the hardest, most labor intensive part is that you need to comb all the lice and eggs out of your child's hair and the NYX Ultra makes it really easy to treat and that way you won't spread it throughout your house and throughout your child's friendship circle. Uh, we are so glad that there is a treatment option when it comes to this. So if, our, if your skin is crawling like mine is learning about this super lice, uh, Dr. Altman, what's the best way to go online? Do you have any resources where we can learn more about this treatment or anything that you talked about? Definitely at nixlice.com. There's a lot of fantastic information for parents about how to treat lice, how to identify lice, and how to prevent your child from bringing home lice. And for more on treatment, also head to our website because we're going to have more on this segment posted online. Thanks to Dr. Tanya Altman there at fox4morningblend.com. Okay, I think we're all itching for a makeover after that news. Coming up next, how Swan Centers can make you look and feel like a superstar.